This short video is going to identify the critical components or the performance criteria of the jump according to the Victorian Department of Education. The analysis of a learner's jumping should be conducted when the learner is jumping as high as possible from a standing position. The first critical component of the jump is the eyes are focused either forward or upwards throughout the jump. Next, the jumper should crouch by bending at the knees with their arms behind their body. Having their arms behind their body then allows the jumper to perform the next critical component of the jump, which is the forceful upward thrust of their arms, which occurs as their legs straighten to take off. The next critical component relates to the landing. As the jumper lands, they should contact the ground with the front part of both feet, and they should bend their knees to help absorb the force of the landing. The last component also relates to the landing. The jumper's landing should be balanced so that they take no more than one step in any direction. When it's all put together, the jump should look something like this.